Hi everyone, I'm making this video today to show you my two new Burberry scarves that I've uh, bought over the last couple of months. I decided to make this video because when I was researching which scarves I wanted to buy, when I looked on YouTube I couldn't really find any videos at all uh, showing these particular scarves, so I thought maybe it would be useful to some of you if I could show you the ones that I bought. Uh, first of all, disclaimer, I have three dogs asleep behind me and as you know from my, well as you may know from my previous videos, they snore. They have very short snouts and they snore when they're awake. Um, I can't put them outside of the room because if I do they'll just try and knock the door down. Um, so I just have to put up with the snoring I'm afraid so I do apologise about that. But they're my babies so what can I do? So anyway, back to the scarves. I've wanted one of these scarves for over two years now. I did keep putting it off because it took me a long time to justify spending that amount of money on a scarf because they are very expensive. There's no getting away from that. You know, it's a scarf at the end of the day. But it had been on my mind like pretty much constantly for over two years. So after I sold a few bits and bobs, I decided to put that money towards finally buying my first scarf. Um, the one that I went for came in this tube. Uh, it's the Burberry Classic Cashmere Scarf in Czech and Heart. Sorry, I've got some notes down here if I'm looking down. Um, this is the little package it comes in and it actually comes with a label with your initials on as well. Um, and then inside here, it's just like a little gift tag if you want to write on there. Uh, it comes with the ribbon around it and a little Burberry sticker on the back there. And then that just pops off and inside you have your scarf. And I have worn this quite a few times. So I tried to package it back up the way that I received it. So it came uh, with the monogram like on the outside there. So this is the colour choice that I went for. So this is the classic uh, heart and check scarf. And I had the uh, mixed pinks and reds for my initials there. And if you can see in the middle there, there's also an embroidered heart. The initials are embroidered into the uh, scarf, they're not printed on. So on the other side, that's what it looks like on the other side. So it's not um, it's not ugly on the other side, it, it's still finished nice. It's obviously just back to front. Uh, the This scarf comes in this colour which is the it's called Parade Red, uh, which is the classic check with the red hearts. It also comes in this colour, but with black hearts. And then it comes in one called Ash Rose, which is like a baby pink with the uh, black hearts on it as well. Uh, but the uh, monogram that you can put on is the same colour choices through all of the different colours of scarves. So there... There are six plain colours ranging from like black, red, gold, uh, navy and I think there's a couple of metallics in there as well. Or there are a choice of three mixed uh, colours as well. So I say this is the mixed pink and reds. They do one that's um, black, gold and red and then they do I think like black, grey and white I think. Um, and this scarf comes with the hearts, they're only on one side, so you can actually wear this this way around as well and it's just the plain Burberry check on that side. So I know that there are lots of these, uh, there's replicas, um, I have seen a lot on eBay and just around the internet in general. And that's definitely something to look out for is that the hearts are only on one side they're not printed all the way through. Um, you can't even really see them through the other side. 
So that's good really because you get two looks in one scarf. You can wear it either way around. Um, this scarf is, oh yeah, the text on this comes in two sizes as well. This is the medium size and you can have it in the smaller size as well, which is I think about half, half as uh, high and yeah, probably half as wide as well. Um, and it's got fringing on both ends. And it's really soft. The only thing I have noticed about this scarf is that it's got a funny smell. I don't know why, but it's got a strange smell. And um, I've worn this with perfume, uh, perfume around my neck. Um, and I can still smell this odd smell. It's not unpleasant, it's just something that I wasn't expecting. So this scarf measures 168 centimetres in length and it is 30 centimetres in width and it is 100% cashmere. I will say that I have noticed with this scarf as well, it is um, slightly shorter than uh, other scarves of this type that I own. Um, I bought this one up just for reference, this is just a cheap uh, Primani one uh, from Primark uh, and if I put these two scarves together so there is that much difference and I would consider this scarf from Primark like a an average size scarf um, it's the same length as all of my other cheaper scarves mm -hmm. and this Burberry one is about a foot shorter mm -hmm. so I do notice that slightly when I'm wearing this scarf around my neck like this this doesn't come down as far as I would ideally like I usually prefer them to come you know further down so there's more of a dangle um, but this one's quite high but I suppose you can see my monogram a little better if I'm wearing it with a jacket you can see it like that um, but yeah this is how it looks on um, I've also worn it just draped around my shoulders like that because um, I think it just it looks nice like with the black jacket it looks pretty um, so yeah that's my first one and I loved this one so much but I was missing one with black hearts so I'd actually seen this one the next one um, on the Burberry website and it had gone into the sale uh, by the time I went to buy it they had all sold out but luckily I'm in a few uh, really good groups on Facebook and uh, one of the lovely ladies in one of the sales groups uh, told me that she had one that she was going to send back and was I interested. So I bit her hand off for it because it was down from, oh yeah I forgot to tell you the price of the other one. The other one is £395. This one was £295 but it was reduced to £195, so that's how much um, I got it uh, for from the lady in the group. Uh, again, this one comes in a different type box. It's got the red ribbon on there. Um, this one's not personalised, so it just comes with a plain tag. If I take the ribbon off, it comes in the Burberry box. Sorry about that, the um, UPS man came to pick up a parcel. So anyway, I was always saying, this is what it looks like inside. It comes with your paperwork in a little envelope here. Um, and you also get just a plain little gift card inside. Then it comes with the Burberry sticker on the front there. Metallic sticker. And I noticed that even the paper's got like, I don't know if you can see, but it's got like the Burberry um, chip print, like a tartan print on the embossed into the paper. And then inside here, I have this one, which is called 
the Burberry Heart and Check Modal and Cashmere Scarf. Uh, and this one is in camel and black, but also came in camel and red or parade red. Um, and it looks like this. This one is a much thinner material. I don't know if you can see my hand through there. Um, it's more like a shawl. It has the fringing on the ends there. And this one has the black hearts, but they're both sides. Um, so it's not double sided. Uh, this one measures um, 200 centimeters in length and 90 centimeters um, in width. So I am really pleased that I got this one because funnily enough, out of the two scarves, this is the one that I prefer wearing. I think it's because it's longer um, and even though it's thinner, it's actually really warm um, and real snuggly. You can get it, like I wear it the same way as I wear the other scarf. Um, I just fold it in half wrap it around my neck and then pull it through like that but as you can see this one's way longer um, and I feel like it's it's just more cozy around my neck I think it's more versatile as well because you can wear this with you know like uh, more summery clothes uh, you know a lighter wardrobe you don't have to wear it as a, a winter time scarf um, similar to the Louis Vuitton shawls and I shall get into that in a second. Um, so, yeah, as I said, this one I got in the sale. So I'm not sure entirely if these ones are still available. I know that they do do them uh, without the hearts. But if you want to get something like this with the hearts, you may have to go pre-loved like I did. Um, but I would recommend looking on the handbag groups that are on Facebook. I'm so sorry I keep I'm not I haven't filmed a video with my face in it for years and years and years since I used to do makeup tutorials so I'm keep looking at myself in the viewfinder and I must remember to look at you um in the actual camera so sorry about that my camera overheated so I've had to stop and come back but I think I was talking about where I got uh, this scarf from um I got this one from one of the groups on Facebook that I'm in, um, there are a couple of groups that I would recommend. I will leave the names of them in the description box below because I'm not sure if they're private groups. But there's uh, the Luxury Handbag Closet is a really good one and there's another one called the Handbag Hideaway. But as I said, I'm not sure if they're closed. So, But it'd be worth checking them out. But there are other groups on there as well that sell similar things. But do... Be aware that there are quite a few um, replicas and fakes out there so I would always recommend if you are buying pre-loved anything like this handbags accessories anything um, authenticate for you.com is a really good uh, website that authenticates uh, all of your items um, I think they're five pound and you you send them pictures of the item they check them over and then they'll give you a certificate of whether it's authentic or not so if you're ever in doubt, it's £5 well spent in my opinion. So yeah, if you want something like this, that's the best way to do it. Um, I was going to explain to you why I ended up getting this one uh, in the first place. I did have a Louis Vuitton shawl. It was absolutely gorgeous, big black, um, just one of the plain monogram shawls. And I was upstairs um, filling my washing basket to take downstairs to put the washing on. And because my shawl was upstairs, I just popped my shawl on top of the washing basket to take downstairs and hang up in the cloakroom. Um, it wasn't until the next morning when I was unloading my washing machine, pulled out all the washing and pulled out something that was about that big, um, triangular shape, uh, about that big. And it felt like wadding, like very thick like cotton wadding and I was like what the hell is this I do uh, I no idea what this is and I swear to god I felt 
every piece of blood in my face drain out of my body and I, I swear I was like having an outer body experience when I realised that it was my Louis Vuitton shawl and I'd put it in the washing machine and put it through a 40 degree wash so something that went from being big enough to be a blanket honest to god came out that big I was that traumatised by it that I put it in a, a carrier bag tied it up and I went and threw it in the black bin outside I just couldn't even look at it I would oh my god I swear to god it took me about at least a couple of hours to calm down I was so I was so mad at myself I I just can't I still can't believe that I was so forgetful that I'd put it on top of the washing basket so really I wanted to get another Louis Vuitton shawl but you know they're 375 pound I think at the moment um and I just oh, I just couldn't do it not when it was my own fault that I'd ruined the first one so when I saw that these were in the sale for £195, that was much more palatable for me. So um, this does the same kind of thing. I mean, it's not, I wouldn't say it's as luxurious as the Louis Vuitton shawls, but I really like it. And I think it's super cute because it's got the hearts on. I think it adds a bit of a modern twist on a classic design. And I've loved wearing this one in particular. I've been... I think I've worn it every day since I got it. It's really taken the place of this one. This one just doesn't seem long enough. As much as I love it, and I want to love it because it was a lot of money, it, the length just puts me off because it doesn't come down far enough. Like, I'm a big girl. I feel like I needed the extra length. So, to me, if it was a choice between this one or this one, this one wins at the moment. Plus the black hearts are easier to style with um, with your outfits. Just before I go, there was just one last thing I wanted to mention about um, this scarf here. Um, I was around my friend's house the other day and her the Velcro from her coat stuck to this scarf. And I was freaking out thinking it was going to pull all the fibres out and it was just going to ruin my scarf. Um, but when I took it off, even though there were pulls, I was able to just pull the material um, of the scarf and they just came out. And you couldn't tell that, that it had even had a pull in it at all. So that is one definite um, advantage to this scarf over the Louis Vuitton shawls. Because when I pulled my Louis Vuitton shawl, there was no way that I could get that out. I tried and tried and tried to just pull it in the same way as I did with this and once they're pulled they're very hard to disguise the threads I mean it's just one of the things that comes with that kind of scarf but with this one they're really easy to just um, tug at the material and the pull seems to disappear so that's a definite advantage to this one so here's just one last look at the two scarves together because I am losing light rapidly um, so this is the Burberry Classic cashmere scarf with check and hearts, £395 from uh, in parade red. And this one is the Burberry heart and check modal and cashmere scarf, uh, £295 uh, down to £195 um, in camel and parade red. So there we go. Um, I hope that was helpful to some of you that are maybe trying to make a decision on whether these are worth it or not um do i think they're worth it would i pay that for the classic scarf again probably not if i had known how short it was i think that i would have maybe chosen a different type of scarf it's just not as long as i prefer my scarves to be but this lighter one definitely love it definitely worth every penny so if you have any questions about either of these scarves um, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can um, and I've got another unboxing hopefully for next week so I'll see you in the next video thank you bye